hear, okay, what do I think everybody should be able to do and know how to do? That is to sew a button on. Nothing fancy. I'm going to show you how to do that. And that's what's next. Okay, I'm not going to delay. I'm going to get right into it. And I'm going to show you the steps of how to sew the button on and give you a little bit of tweaking, whether it's a man shirt or a woman's blouse or shirt. So let's get started with step one. Step one will be evaluate the situation. Check out the, the actual shirt or top that this button is coming off on. And as you can see, this center button is starting to come off. And I looked at the button and I noticed, and this will happen in some of the shirts, when I opened up the shirt inside, they have a couple of spares. That's great. They don't all have it. But that is step one to evaluate the button, if the button is still available, or if there are spare buttons inside of the shirt. Step two is to go to a local store. You don't have to go to a fabric store. In the United States, we have a store called Walgreens, and it's sort of a, a store that has, uh, has a drugstore in there, and it has some household goods. And as you can see in this footage, I went on the aisle and was able to find your basic kit. And here we are. I was able to buy these two kits. They were available at this store. I'm not sure what kind of stores you would have in Europe or other countries, but go to a basic, how would you would say five and dime stores, has, you would say, where they might have some basic sewing kits available. So that's step two. Step three is to remove the button completely if it's halfway there or whatever. Some of the kits, which I did not buy, had a seam ripper in them. I didn't buy the kit that had it because I already had one, but they would have it. If you cannot get a seam ripper, you can get scissors and you just want to go and open up the button itself and very carefully take out from the threads like that until you remove it completely. like that. All right, let me open the kit in order to do the next step. Look at that, it comes with a little Ziploc. How cool to store your thread in. This particular one, I'll see if I can put it on um, Amazon if that's even possible. And I'm gonna do this in red so that you can see what's going on. We're gonna thread the needle. Here's a little threader in case you need it. And here's a needle. Okay, step four is to thread the needle. This one did come with a threader, but I'm gonna to try to do it without. You get the thread, I'm gonna use red so you can see it. You wanna give it a clean cut on the end. Any scissor will do. Then wet two fingers and place it over the end of that thread. That helps it to pass through the needle faster and easier. And let's see if I can do this. We're gonna thread this needle like that. You want a double thread. So you want to double the thread like this, approximately 10 inches or so, and then cut it. Let's put a knot on the end. The simplest way is to wet those two fingers again. Place it over the end, wrap it around that one finger, push it with your thumb outward, and then pull it down with your third finger to make a knot. Step five, evaluating the stitching on the other buttons. As you can see here, there's a crisscross stitching on these buttons. That means I have to do the same thing to this one. Sometimes you'll see shirts that will have it up and down or across, but this one is a crisscross and we're gonna do that next. 
Step six is putting the first knotted stitch from your needle. But before you do that, you have to establish where that is. You can see marks here on where the button was. If you don't see marks on your shirt and you don't know where to put that first knot, then button above it and below it. Get a pencil and very lightly open it up and put a dot. That's where you're going to put your knot. So let's get started with that knot. I'm gonna unbutton this and this. And I'm gonna put the knot right here where that mark is, step six. Step seven is you're going to put it through the back of the button once first and align the button in the center of the area where that dot is or where your stitching is, like that. And hold it down gently with your hands. And we're gonna do the first stitch across. So from here, we're going to stitch it down here, making sure that I'm still where that center part is, like that. That's your first stitch. Then we're gonna go back up in the area where we did not get yet, in one of the holes that we did not get through yet from the back, like that. And then down on the other one that we did not do yet, just like that. There's your first X and it's all still in the center. Step eight, continue that three more times. So go back up and you want it to be a little bit loose here and I'll explain that for the next step. You don't want it to be too tight down and you're gonna go back down crisscrossing as you do this. So from here, now we're gonna go into this hole to the back, poke your needle in the opposite hole that you did not get yet, like that. Crisscross that down as well, trying to get into the center and try to keep in that center location so that you know that it's going to button properly. Do that one more time. Now step nine is an alternative. You can do this, or you don't really have to. For men's shirts, this is sometimes necessary. And that is to go up from the back like this, and then not through the front of the button, but actually inside like that. Then, like I said, allowing some thread or some give here, you wanna wrap your thread around one, two, sometimes three, but I think two might even be enough. Go back down under the button to the back like that. That gives it a little bit of space that sometimes is necessary or nice when you have a man's shirt so it's not so close to the actual fabric. And there you are. Step 10 is to put a knot in the back. So you just wanna take a little bit of the back like that with your needle, put your needle through the little loop and pull it tight. You can do that one or two times through the back. Through the two, the little loop that you develop and knot it, cut the threads, and you've just sewn in your first button. All sewn in, I have it in red just so you can see. So I hope you like this video. I hope you learned how to do it. You have confidence to do it. Give me in the comments that you sewed on a button by yourself and you, you accomplished it. 
Stay tuned for the next video, which is going to be on hemming a pair of pants. No machinery, simple that everybody should be able to do. And that's what's going to be next. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I talk about fashion design and everything about it. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.